So, some of you people might know that I'm a big fan of the Batman Arkham series, and, um, you know, for 10 quid, you can't really pass up this 3-pack. I don't really know why this 3-pack never really sold, because this is the only Harleen Quinn cell figure I think there has ever been made. I think, uh, Electrocutioner, um, even though he was a pretty much a nobody in the game, uh, first time he's ever been made. Lady Shiva, first time she's ever been made, and um, like I said, for 10 quid, I can't really pass that up now, can I? Um, also, what really got me into it, why I didn't buy it in the first place, is I didn't really have that much of an interest in it, to be honest, but then um, I uh, got a hold of this graphic novel, Harleen, by Stefan Sedgik, and uh, it's actually amazing. First off, the art, absolutely incredible. Um, this is the hardcover, I highly recommend you pick this up. It's an absolutely fantastic read and it made me fall in love with Harley Quinn uh, all over again. Because she's been sort of a little bit too mainstream recently. Well, not recently, more like for several years now, but uh, you know when one character has just been shoved down your throat over and over again and then something new and fresh comes and it just blows your mind? Yeah, that, that's exactly that graphic novel. So um, without further ado, let's take a look at this uh, three-pack here. So I did cheat a little bit. I um, cut the tape already and I removed the twisty ties for easy access, but... Jesus. There we go. So let's take a look at all the figures individually. Starting off with what I think everyone's main priority in the set is the Harleen figure. Just look at this, it's absolutely beautiful. The details are there. Mm. Quite rubbish articulation, but, I mean, what are you going to do? Are you going to make her do flips when she's normal? No, you're really not. Sculpt, on point. Paint looks really good as well. There's really no bleed whatsoever. Maybe this belt buckle could be tidied up a little bit, but that's about it. Fingernails are painted exquisitely. And this head, just... Look at that head sculpt. She looks absolutely fantastic. Um, maybe this eye... I think the painted-on reflection needs to be a little bit higher up, because this one is right in the corner, in the... Like about between 10 and 11 o'clock, if that makes sense, and this one is more of a 9. And um, I think also, if I were to fix her... Maybe make the eyelashes cover up the eyes a little bit more. But other than that... I mean, what else can you really ask for with for a Harleen Quinzel figure? She's pretty much just gonna stand around looking smart slash pretty anyway, so... Uh, let's take a look. How does she look with the Joker? She looks... He's obviously in a bigger scale, but... You know, still looks pretty good from what I, from my perspective. Let's take a look at her with my custom Harley Quinn figure. Height. To be fair, this figure is wearing heels, but then the answer is this one. I'm dumb. Uh, yeah, it looks about. I mean, this figure is obviously taller, but yeah. Fun little evolution here. I'm not really sure if I've ever shown this, uh, because I did originally put this head on the... on the NECA... Uh, um, on the DC Collectibles Arkham Knight body, you know, the really shiny one, but... I never really liked how annoying the articulation was on that figure, so I swapped it for the DC Essentials Harley. The really super poseable one with the double-jointed elbows and torso joint and... Uh, all that good stuff. She's even got like a little bit of an ankle rocker, not much though. But, um... Okay, so the issue here is I usually only want one figure per character. 
So this figure here is a little bit more of a novelty. I don't really know what to do with it. I just pretty much wanted it because she looked pretty, I guess. Uh, but I guess I'll, I'll find some use for her. Maybe I can take some nice pictures of her with Joker or something. It could also be Harley in a disguise, I guess. But let's see, look at these glasses. Glasses seem to be... Yeah, they're glued on. But they look really good though. Like for this scale, glasses tend to always look ridiculous, but these are probably the best pair of glasses I've ever seen in this scale. I do really want to fix up the eyes though. I mean, they don't look terrible or anything, but I think they are a little bit too big, a little bit too stylized for like a super realistic look. And, um, mm, yeah. Uh, she also comes with this little uh, notepad. I assume she can hold it. It seems a bit... Uh, seems a bit like an odd oversight that there's no actual paper on there, but let's see, she can... Yeah, she can hold it. Both hands? No. Okay, so it's meant for this hand then. Let's see... Elbows... Eh. And it's not a really... It's not really a good grip on it. Eh? Like, how is she gonna read that? Maybe it is supposed to be in this hand. Seems like a bit of a stupid design choice, but... Oh well. That's Harleen for you. Okay, so let's take a look at... Electrocutioner. Oh dear, he's stuck. Okay, so... I don't remember him looking like this in the game. I think... The scarred bit is a little bit over the top. Uh, they might have been working from early design concepts. But... I, I really don't think he was this scarred up in the game. He, I, I know he had a scar here. Like, a couple of them, but this looks like almost like two-face proportions in terms of damage. Uh, completely solid torso. Really stuck. Less than 90. Pretty terrible. Hips. Does he have double-jointed knee? Oh! He's actually got double-jointed knees. Terrible double jointed knees. I mean, they they do about double jointed knees, and they do ninety. That's fantastic. And uh, these cables are actually rubber. Where's the design choice? And uh, how do you swap these out? Is it just a yeah? It's just a little peg you pull. Yeah, one would think this is would be the main priority for everyone, but face it, no one cared about the electrocutioner in the game. I don't even think um, Warner Brothers Montreal really cared about him anyway, considering what happens to him in the game. Uh, but, I mean, if for some reason you happen to be a massive electrocutioner fan, the head sculpt is really good, actually. He sort of looks like comic book Negan from The Walking Dead. I mean, if we cover this bit up. Oh well. Okay, so Lady Shiva. Badass, voiced by Kelly Hu, who apparently gets to voice every single Asian fe uh, strong female character in pretty much all media. What's up with these arms? Oh, they're bent, okay. Hmm. Okay, so looking at the sculpt... She looks nothing like she does in the game. The eyes are way too big. You can tell that these 
are sculpted by the same person because both of these faces look quite stylized. Meanwhile, Electrocutioner looks nothing. Like, look at the eyes. This is obviously a different sculptor. Um, but yeah, these two are look, seem to be sculpted by the same person who likes doing really eye, really big eyes and sort of generic lips. I mean, they sort of have the same lips even. Yeah, yeah these eyes are just terrible. Probably gonna try to go in here with a black brush and just try to make her eyes a little bit smaller. It doesn't really- I don't really mind it that much with Harley here, because the glasses would make the eyes look a little bit bigger anyway. Um, I might try to heat them up and um, loosen the glue a bit and then reattach them, but we'll see about that. But Shiva sculpts. I mean, the body sculpt is absolutely beautiful. Let's see, what about the articulation? Awful shoulders. They do go 360. Elbow swivel. Well, bicep swivel, I guess. A terrible, terrible elbow joint. And then... Swivel... Forearms. The worst hips I've ever seen. Yet, they're incredible backwards for some reason. This should have been a soft piece, and the hips should have been ball joints. Shiva, the greatest martial artist in the DC universe, or at least one of them, and she can barely move. Uh, <laughs> wow. Okay, so, not even... <laughs> also, worse knees. And swiveled boots, not even anything in the feet. Oh dear. Let's take a look at our sword. So this katana, can I take it out? Oh, I can take it out! Looks alright. Paint is alright. Does she have anywhere she can... No. There's nowhere she can have this, like, it probably goes, like, there-ish, but there's no peg or anything. Oh, oh dear. These are collectibles. What were you thinking? Might be able to do something? Get some legs from some Marvel Legends figure or something, but... We'll see how much I care. If I can if I can just fix the head, I mean I'm gonna be satisfied with that to be honest. But Yeah, there was a little it wasn't really a review per se, it was more a little I wanted to show off that I bought this for ten quid. Which is basically, you know, three thirty nine per figure. Uh three thirty three per figure, and for that price, this is absolutely worth it. Just look at all this plastic. Yeah, sort of pointless little blog vlog video. Anyway, thanks for watching!